John Rawls, an American philosopher of the 20th century, sought to address the timeless question of what constitutes a just society. At the heart of his theory, as encapsulated in his influential work A Theory of Justice, lies a thought experiment known as the Veil of Ignorance. This metaphorical construct plays a pivotal role in shaping Rawls' vision of a fair and equitable society. Imagine, Rawls proposes, a group of individuals tasked with designing the foundational principles of a new society. However, there's a catch. These individuals are placed behind a veil of ignorance, where they are deprived of any knowledge about their personal characteristics, social status, talents, or life circumstances in the society they are shaping. They do not know whether they are rich or poor, educated or illiterate, strong or weak, young or old. They are ignorant of their race, gender, religion, and even their own conception of what constitutes a good life. Rawls believed that this veil would ensure impartiality. If individuals are unaware of their position or status in the society they're designing, they would naturally opt for the principles that are fair and just to all, out of a self-preserving instinct. They wouldn't risk creating a system that could place them at a disadvantage. In essence, the veil of ignorance functions as an imaginative tool to eradicate personal biases, compelling the individuals to think from a universal perspective. From behind this veil, Rawls argues, two fundamental principles of justice would emerge. The first is the principle of equal basic liberties. Every individual has an equal right to the most extensive basic liberties compatible with similar liberties for others. This means everyone should have the same fundamental rights, such as freedom of speech, assembly, and conscience. The second principle, known as the difference principle, acknowledges that social and economic inequalities can exist, but stipulates that they must satisfy two conditions. First, they must be associated with positions and offices open to all, ensuring equality of opportunity. And second, they must work to the greatest benefit of the least advantaged members of society. This means that any disparity, be it in wealth, power or resources, is justifiable only if it results in benefiting those at the bottom rungs of the society. Rawls' veil of ignorance is more than just a philosophical construct. It's a powerful call to empathy and fairness. By asking us to momentarily set aside our personal identities and privileges, it challenges us to envision a society from the vantage point of the most vulnerable. In doing so, it pushes for a vision of justice that isn't swayed by the whims of the fortunate, but is grounded in a universal sense of fairness and equity. In the grand tapestry of philosophical thought on justice, Rawls' contribution stands out, not just for its intellectual rigor, but for its profound moral intuition. The veil of ignorance, in its elegant simplicity, serves as a beacon, guiding societies towards principles of justice that aspire to uplift everyone, especially those who have been historically left behind.